Hey, so in this video, I want to do a review of the Mountain Equipment Co-op Toaster Booties for Kids. Love the name, think it's hilarious. And I think this is one of the best winter purchases that our family made. I was looking for soft sole boots for my son. I've been learning a lot in the last two years about uh, minimalism footwear, the benefits of having more contact with the ground and increasing the intelligence of your feet. Um, look it up, there's a ton of literature on it, but I wanted that for my son because he's had a lot of soft sole shoes in the summer and Mountain Equipment Co-op came through. So pros and cons of these. The toaster booties are fantastic in that they've got good insulation to them and they really live up to the soft sole concept. Super flexible and it gives my son a lot of contact with the ground. There is an insulator on the inside and so he's got a little bit of padding but otherwise when there's dips and changes to the shape of the ice or the snow underneath his feet, his muscles need to compensate. Um, and that means that his toes are actually moving and wiggling around. His arch is working to support his foot um, in such a way that his feet just keep getting stronger and stronger. And it's really neat to see how much mobility he has. When you see kids in rock hard soled boots, um, it's like walking with a wooden plank stuck to the bottom of their feet. They often can't walk forwards. Instead, they have to kind of pinwheel their feet around sideways. If you're ever wondering if your kid's hard sole boot is not working for them, look to see if their hips are moving and their leg is actually swinging outwards when they try to step. If they can't actually heel toe or toe toe, something's just not quite working for them, this might be the way to go. So I love the flexibility. I also like the quality of the materials. I bought a size that was just a little bit too big for my son going into winter with the hopes that we'll get two winters out of these, something that's very difficult to do with a hard soled boot. Um, if this started off a little bit too big, it's okay. It flexed in the place where it needed it, uh, need, where he needed it to. Um, if his foot reaches the very end, so his toes touch the end, there's flexibility to the material. So I think we can get two years out of these and these were $34 plus tax. To get two years out of that, that's awesome. So I think financially that was very good. Um, and I like the fact that it's got the two securing points where it does. So there's one around the ankle, one around the top, and he doesn't get snow down the top, so that's great. Downsides. Um, I found the insulation wasn't quite what I was hoping it to be, so we pair these with Combi, that's K-O-M-B-I socks. Um, Mountain Equipment Co-op sells these in two packs. Make sure you get the ski sock. The ski socks are the best ones, reason for it. The fantastic uh, material combination is a great insulator. Don't put cotton socks on your kids in one of these, that will not do. Um, so this is a synthetic blend and that's gonna give you the insulation that you need. Also the vertical stretch, this will pull up and hug your kid's leg really nicely. These things do not go slipping and falling off on a regular basis. When you put it on your kid, it'll stay on. And because of that vertical stretch that you can see there, that little heel doesn't dictate exactly what size foot the sock is going to fit on. I bought socks that are going to last my kid two winters, so another financial good decision. So a two pair uh, or two pack, $26. And so we picked up two, two packs. We've got four pairs of socks for them through the winter and it's just, it's amazing. Um, I really like these socks. They've been doing a good thing for them. Pairing these two things together, he's got the insulation that he need and when, needs and when it gets super cold, we just double up on the socks. Um, the only other downside is that these are not waterproof and so we found that when it was really damp it kind of soaked in around the edges and it turned out that he had wet feet which I felt really bad about. Um, but sure enough, you know, if I look closer that is not waterproof material so as long as it's dry snow out there you're going to be just fine and again for insulation if it's super cold get one of these and double up on these. And so Mountain Equipment Co-op toaster booties for kids, I can totally recommend them. Check your kid's feet, see if you can buy a size that's a little bit too big so that it lasts them for two seasons. Same thing with the Combi socks, and I think you're going to be all set. So if you have any questions, just put them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer, and if you have any other winter solutions for your kid's feet, especially if they're soft sole solutions, I would love to hear about them. And uh, yeah, I hope that was helpful. If it was helpful, please like, share, and subscribe, and I hope you have a good one. All the best. Bye.